Okay, I'm looking at it, and I notice I got um, X's all over the places, but I could get rid of that Y. And the way I would do that is I would multiply the bottom equation by 3 and the top equation by 2. And I think I can do that without doing too much writing. And you're going to get 2 times 2 is 4 plus 3, which is 7x squared. Then you're going to get 6y squared minus 6y squared. Well, they're gone. Then what do you get? 2 times 67. That's 120, 134. And 3 times 17, 30 and 21, 51. What's it going to give you? 1, 8, 5. Then what do you get? Minus 2x. All right? So at least I got an equation and one unknown. All right, now what I mean by that is I could probably solve that in a simple way. So I want to write that down for you. And it's quadratic, so it's going to be 7x squared plus 2x minus 185 equals 0. And i got to do my best job of, of trying to do that. And it looks tough. And um, I'm saying that if it's going to work with my fingers... It's got to be 7x. By well, it, it, that's a big word, if. If it doesn't, I've got to go to the quadratic formula. But I'm saying, if it's going to work with my fingers, it's got to be 7x and x. There's no other choice, by the way, if I'm using my fingers. And then I'm looking at the 185. And I, I'm looking at that, and I'm looking, and I'm wondering how, how I could accomplish that. And i got to think about that. And I'm looking at that, and I'm going to say 37 times 5. Let me see that. 150 and 30. Yeah, 185. Now, someone says, why don't you choose 185 and 1? It's just too huge. Right? And I'm starting to see that 30, 37, and 5. You know, if I put them somewhere nice, I'll put this over here. By the way, I did not say it's going to work. I'm just saying this looks like a possibility. And let me take a look at that. And... I'm going to say plus here, minus there. And let me see if I get it. 7x times x, 7x squared. Minus 35 plus 37 is 2x. Gee, that worked beautifully. It really did. So I got an answer now. And what's my answer going to be? x equals 5 or x equals minus 37 sevenths. All right? Now, granted, someone says, you know, which of those two numbers do you find easier to deal with? And I got to be honest with you, I think that 5 looks really, it's just too attractive not to go for it. So I'm going to erase my work now. I'm done with this. I'm done with this. And I want to start plugging numbers in. And the number I want to plug in is the number 5. And I, I'm looking at it, and I'm, I wonder which equation might be easy for me to deal with. And I'm going to say the second equation looks easiest for me. All right, so what do you got? I'm going to, I'm going to try the 5 first. So if x is 5, what are you going to get? You're going to get 25 minus 2y squared is equal to 17. And then I get minus 2y squared. Well, let's take a look at that. I have to take 25 away. That would give me minus 8. So y squared would equal 4, or y would equal plus or minus 2. So I got two really simple solutions from this over here. And what are you going to get? 5, comma, 2, and I'm also going to get 5, comma, minus 2. All right? I want to point out those answers are listed over here for me. So I feel pretty good about that. And so I'm done with that part. Now, I'm going to go to the next thing, and, you know, I'm going to erase this stuff over here, and I'm happy about that. I want to do the next one. The next one's, you know, I got to be honest with you, sort of nightmarish, right? And what, what do I have to do? You know, I got to do something. And someone says, what do you have to do? I got to do the arithmetic, which I really hate doing in front of people. But I want to point I'll leave it as an exercise. What are you doing over here? You're going to square this number. I'll write that down for you. The five was really easy to do, by the way. That's 37 sevenths. You're going to square the number minus 
2y squared is equal to 17, and you need to solve that for y. All right, you need to solve for y. Now, I, I really, it, it's, it's probably kind of tedious to do, but I think you probably realize it's not that bad. All right, now what I mean by that, I could actually write it down without doing the arithmetic. It would be minus 37 over 7 squared minus 17 divided by 2 is equal to y squared. But again, you may, you may want to use your calculator to do that. Again, please don't use decimal numbers. It's a nightmare if you do. And you should be able to get it. Now, when I say be able to get it, be able to get these two answers over here. Now, certainly what I do, I also provide a graph with you for you with those points of intersection being indicated for you, all right? So um, not, not the easiest points to plot, except for the first set, the second set. You may wonder how it's done. I'm actually typing those numbers into a machine to get it to plot out that way. But I'm seeing what the object is. And again, you, when you start to study more about algebra, these graphs, they come from families, by the way. And you'll be able to do that too, all right? Thank you.